Media Taming Technology. Okay, so uh, we've had a look at an example of how to physically hook up some of the multipurpose outputs from the Fire Studio project to headphone amplifiers. Let's have a look at how we control what's going on in our computer with the help of Personas' Fire Control control panel. First, I've got a track here uh, that I want to record vocals and guitar on. This is Cubase 4, but you can do something similar in almost any audio workstation. Let's say I want to record a vocalist and a guitarist at the same time. You may want to record an entire band all at once. It doesn't matter. The method is the same. So I've got my record tracks all set up. So now I want to make sure that everybody can hear what they need to hear to perform their best, including me, the engineer, the so-called engineer. As I mentioned before, the vocalist and the guitarist probably won't want to hear the same mix, so let's look at how we create separate mixes for each of them. These are called cue mixes. I'm going to use sends as a method of creating cue mixes. In this example, I'm going to send to the multi-purpose outputs of the Personas Fire Studio project. So the first thing I'll do is create my send destinations. We do that by opening up our VST connections in Cubase. And you can see I've already got the uh, singer's cue mix uh, right here. And so I'm going to create one for the guitarist. So I'll add one stereo bus. And you can see it's already automatically uh, sent to the outputs 5 and 6, followed by uh, following 3 and 4, which are going to the singer's headphone uh, amplifier. And I'm just going to rename this here for clarity. Guitar mix for the guitarist. So what I'm going to do now is go back to my mixer and cue base and assign to send for the guitar player. I'm going to turn them all on and I'm just going to uh, default them default the output levels to uh, 0 dB. So now we want to have a look at the control panel for the Fire Studio project. And we get there by uh, taking a look down here in the system tray where we see the Personas Fire Control button. We're just going to click on that. And that opens up our uh, control panel. So in addition to the usual audio control panel settings such as sample rate, buffer size, and uh, clock settings, we've got this uh, entire mixer over here. So what's going on here is we've got, uh, if we click on each one of these output selections, what's going on is there's actually a different mixer preset coming up in here that memorizes your settings. So for in the control room, uh, I'm just going to leave everything at zero. Three and four, as we may recall, is for the singer. And uh, five and six for the guitar player. Now this channel over here is actually showing us the live input, I'll hold that mic up closer to me, of the singer, uh, of the singer's microphone. And we can control how loudly um, that signal gets sent to these various outputs. So this is the guitar player's mix, so I'm going to actually bring the vocal down a little bit and this one here would be the guitar player's input. We're not seeing any level there, but that's where he'd be plugged into. And we're going to turn him up a little. Now the important thing to remember is that what's going on here is this is a zero latency mixer, so there's absolutely no delay. Okay, so here's how this works in practice. Uh, if I play a little bit of the track here, I can hear, uh, hear everything going on. And then uh, I'd be able to hear the singer coming in here, and I can control how loudly I'm hearing in my mix, the singer, here, or I can turn it down a little bit, and so on and so forth. So if the singer says to me, hey, um, want to hear a little bit less drums, or a little bit less bass, or a little more of the harp, or something like that, I'll just simply run the track go to the Cubase mixer and make 
adjustments. Here we've got the drums, putting the drums down a little bit for the singer. Uh, now if the singer wants to hear a little bit more of themselves, I simply open up the uh, control panel here, click on their output, and uh, make those adjustments. And that's it. So in short, you've got uh, total control over the mixes that each uh, musician is uh, listening to and can make adjustments uh, accordingly.